What's going on, guys? Kamikaze Kid here, and we're joined today with Zodiac. Yes. Oh, fuck's sake. I've been waiting for this, like, since I was a child. I'm joking. You know, <laughs> this podcast is going to be glorious. It is indeed. I have my milk here. You cannot see it, but it is... Zodiac, are you aware of the Guinness? Oh, yes, of course. Um, <laughs> most viewers won't be, if they're not Irish, but... um. Now I may as well crack into it, like, um, why I introduced Zodiac into this episode of the podcast. Um, Zodiac is a good friend of mine on YouTube and has recently kind of shocked the small community we're in with um enormous amount of views and amazing content. And mm. I think he's deserving enough to kind of be on this shitty podcast I've created no. called The Cockpit. <laughs> and this is... I ten. feel honoured, to be honest. <laughs> I do feel quite happy I'm on this podcast now. Uh, I feel my ego there, but I... I... <laughs> I don't think I'm. I don't think I've necessarily blown up the community, but I feel honored to be a part of the community, and I, you know, I'm really glad that I got that invite. So I think we're going to make this podcast somewhat dedicated to the community. Yeah, that would say. so we're just going to talk about some community YouTubers and just discuss the community in general. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's important to point out um, that the community we're talking about is uh, Project Penguin Two, um, not One, because we don't know what One is or why it is called. Sequel. <laughs> So tell us um, how you came about a Zodiac to this community that I've joined last like three months ago. <laughs> well, obviously, I got the invite first from Conscious. Um, if you, <laughs> I never know how to pronounce that properly, but that's how I'm going to say yeah. it. Yeah, but I got I got the invite from him, and uh, I was a bit skeptical at first. I guess I didn't really know what I was getting into because I wasn't a big fan of Google Plus. But you know, I joined the community, and it was it was incredible. You know, I met so many really cool personalities. It was really awesome. So many YouTubers that upload similar content to me. And it was just a great time, really helped me grow, and I can't be more thankful to be a part of it. Yeah, it's actually a pretty cool community, though, isn't it? Like, it's actually one of the few communities you see people interact and comment and actually want to help grow. They actually, you, we made some good friends on it, I think. There's a few people to mention, I think. Who do you think for you, though, you kind of, besides myself? Um, oh, yeah, I was about to say, uh, besides yourself, obviously, Squiggles, uh, Sir Squiggles XP. He's a great YouTuber, good friend. You know, he was he would have he would be on this podcast. Yeah. But our time zones are a little just a little different. <laughs> just a wee as the just Nordish just a say. smidge different, you know. He's only across the world, but <laughs> just that um, it's uh we'll get him eventually, I'm sure. In the next podcast, you know, who knows? If I'm on, if I'm honored once more to be a part of it, then hopefully we can have squigs oh, yeah. on it. You're always welcome on this. This I don't, oh, yeah, know. I don't, great, even, yeah. don't even know when I do these things. This is going to come out of bloom on a Sunday yeah. morning when I'm meant to be in work. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, no, that's cool. Like like even by myself, I've I've obviously said this before in previous podcasts, but I've never actually. This is the first podcast that will probably feature on my channel because, like. If you ever want to see the other podcasts, you have to go to Sir Squiggles XP's channel, which I'll include in the comments below or in the description below. But um, yeah, like on my end, the community like Consocious came to me early, like three months ago and said, here, join Legends. <laughs> so I said, yeah. okay, came a moderator, which is cool. And then, you know, just co interacting with everybody and meeting new people every day. It's amazing. Yeah. There's so many different people in the community, like, um, Obviously, like I played with Roxas, Tori Dory, um, Wolf Tomo, and you know, uh, as of late, Fusa, you know, like with my GTA videos, and that's kind of my main thing at the minute. And obviously, I wanted to play with you, Zodiac, but you know, a podcast <laughs> just as good for now. Got yeah, definitely. The legendary. Can, can you, for the, for the people of the podcast, can we hear a legendary Zodiac catchphrase? <laughs> can we get uh, the intro? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I feel like. Some of the YouTubers, God, I feel like you're really over exaggerating me, but some of the, some of the, like, I definitely do want to talk about some of the YouTubers within the community, like you did, because you've been a massive contributor to the community. You definitely deserve your moderator spot. Thank you. But there's some others that have been really cool, really contribute. Uh, some people I want to talk about, for example, is uh, we, Sir Squiggles, great YouTuber. Um, yeah. Definitely check him out. Some others would be Cryzon. Talk about him a little. Yeah, um, well, I'll let you go first because you're new as well. Um, and obviously, we still have to get to introduce a new properly, but we'll talk about the community force anyway. Um, yeah, Cryzon, what do you? How have you I mean, come to know him yourself? What can you say about Cryzon? You know, his videos are just excellent quality. <laughs> just really great. I love his accent, by the way. I, really great commentary. Portuguese. Just, uh, yeah, I love that accent. <laughs> nice language, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's got a much. Yeah, I feel like he's got a much superior accent to me because I'm really hard to make out. Uh, we're all unique. We all have our different from yeah, different parts of the plants. Like Cryzon's really effective, of course. You've played with him. You've played with Cryzon, so yeah. 
I Kenobi. actually, I, I, yeah, like, uh, well, I've played a few Killing Floor videos with him. Um, <laughs> I've uploaded one of them. The rest of them were like, I was whispering, so I felt I shouldn't <laughs> upload it. Whereas now I cannot really have to whisper per se at the moment, but, you know, first podcast in a long while doing that. <laughs> but yeah, Cryzone, I came to know him through YouTube kind of early days. I was commenting on his videos. He had these excellent Far Cry 4 videos. And it was just like, he's just like, I don't know, he's just interacting with the animals and it, like, you know, talking to the creatures and the people. And I could kind of relate to that because I do that in my own head when I play video games. Yeah. So I was like, okay, that is unique. And he's able to do that flawlessly in video recordings. Yeah. But I don't know, like, then then he started wanting to play Killing Floor with me. I played a few of them and he's yeah. a really, really down to earth guy. He really has good reasons to do YouTube, like charitable ways. And he wants to be able to grow kind of a good fan base and do it for people as opposed to money so that's respectful like yeah do you, do you know what's funny um do you know how he came to have the name cries on he said this to me he was typing on his keyboard one day randomly and it just came up oh and yeah. he said that that's how it, it was faith it was faith it was faith what am i talking about <laughs> faith it was faith <laughs> it was faith <laughs> it was it was foot it was see this is what i mean <laughs> But um, we could talk. Yeah, Cryzone's great. He's a really nice guy as well. Um, Comments on my videos. He just started a conversation. Really nice. How did um your your name come about Zodiac? Because I mentioned his one. Like, how did how did Zodiac come to be Zodiac? Um, I don't know. It's kind of always been around. I mean, for me at least, obviously I had previous channels, but Zodiac's just always kind of been in the back of my head as a name. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of wanted something short and sweet, so I'd stand up with Zodiac. I, it's not. It's not unique oh. by any means, but I like it. So. There, there was no hidden meaning behind it. Just, just typed it just, out one day. Just, just there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. It's funny because if you type it in to YouTube under the term channels, it's the first channel you see. I think. Yeah, I don't Fair know enough. how how that came to be exactly. I don't think I deserve that spot, but yeah, it's it's nice. Oh, it's well deserved. I think it's I like it. I mean, you've been doing be, this a long time, Luke. To be top, I mean. But it's great, you know, obviously, it, hopefully it, it contributes a bit to my channel, advertises me a little bit more, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, like, I see, like, before we continue, we will continue with the community briefly, but before we do, we just wanted to get a brief insight into you, because obviously, like, some people have been new to even my channel, and they want to know who you are, and I am, yeah. and, you know, I guess to that stage. So, tell me a little bit about Zodiac. Well, um, I do basically funny moments videos, I try and edit my videos best, and I know how. I put as much effort into the videos as I can. Um, I have limited resources to work with, obviously, but I try my very best. I try and add a bit of personality to it, a bit of uniqueness. And hopefully you guys do enjoy that. So and I do. I mainly specialize in GTA V, do some Fallout, do some Dark Souls um, with a friend, <laughs> Steph. And I do, uh, what's the other one? Happy Wheels. Happy Wheels, yeah, of course, Happy Wheels. <laughs> have to remind you. Yeah. Well, you can tell I'm clearly a fan of from following the content. Like. <laughs> yeah. That's good to know that you have them, like. But um, you said you there a minute ago that you had previous channels. Do you want to talk about them? Like what? What was well, that? About? I think the most significant two previous channels would be, uh, my 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 last previous one was Snake Dark, which trust me, you do not want to see the videos from there. Okay, they were horrendous, <laughs> to be honest. But do do go into detail. <laughs> they were really bad. In what like, way? I did similar videos to what I do now, just a lot. Like, I like to think a lot worse, at least. I'm not saying my videos now are spectacular, but back then, God help me, but <laughs> they weren't good. But um, I feel like I've came a long way since then. You know, my edits got better. So my my audio quality back then was very bad. Like, the videos weren't, like, they were okay. I mean, in terms of their concept, but the audio was bad and the quality was bad. So I feel like I've came a long way since yeah. then. Is and then... The delivering quality content. When you talk about quality, do you mean the audio and the graphics, or do you mean the way you delivered the content, the funny? I mean, the commentary wasn't anything special, and the the audio wasn't great. The quality was was okay. Sure. So I was using Fraps. God help me, but <laughs> <laughs> you you mentioned there that um you went from Fraps to using um sort of melts. Before we started recording this, you mentioned you used a thing called XSplit, was it, or what was the recording? Shadow Play and I. Um, Fraps is horrendous. I used an HD PVR2 <laughs> as well. What's this PVR2 thing? It's it's really bad for me because it's just a pain to get set up. 
It's just awkward. And thank God you told me about shadow play because yeah. shadow play is a miracle. It's hard, isn't it? I it's think really great. People don't look at shadow play because it's in beta, mm. and which means it can run into problems. But I've never had a problem with it. Yeah, you just have to always so you always have to make sure that the green button's on, which is the only thing. But other than that, flawless sixty FPS, whatever resolution your computer runs at, boom, top notch. And it's like there's literally yeah no FPS loss on like fraps, which basically cuts my FPS more than half on fraps. Oh yeah, the fraps cuts it and shadow ridiculous. play doesn't. Yeah, shadow play, no problems with shadow play. Great if you have a, a GTX card, shadow play, I highly recommend it. So you have a GTX card. What's um your PC build at the moment? Uh, currently, I have an i7 3770K. So it's an old i7, but really good job. Um, and the GTX 970. Ooh. Very happy with that card. I'm fucking. I'm here with a 770. That's only one generation behind. I wouldn't say that's too bad at yeah. all. But we're the new generation of YouTube, and we have to show everybody that we can do this. <laughs> we need the latest top notch bits. Yeah, we have to show everyone we're prepared and we're ready. They're ready, ready. Like we're ready to become <laughs> YT famous. <laughs> and um, do you have any problems recording top notch quality now with the good computer you have, or is it fine? Like. Okay. I mean, not really. I think it's all more down to actual uh, skill now, you know, actually knowing what to do, knowledge and such. Yeah. Which I feel like I'm coming along with my editing and my recording knowledge. I feel like I'm getting better, and that's just what I can hope for, you know. Every Try and make every video better mm. is my motto, so. One after the other. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. I noticed as well, like, you put a load of effort into your edits. Like, literally every video has, like, well, well more than 20 edits, um, <laughs> including like content that would be classed as, you know, might not able to monetize this. But, you know, you yeah. you show that you do it for the people and not for money, clearly from that. But um, how do you feel you compare it to the likes of other YouTubers based on your current channel? I mean, I like to compare myself to the likes of Gaming Lemon and such in terms of their edits. You know, I don't like to necessarily compare myself, but I like to take inspiration. Yeah. So you can tell my, my edits are sort of inspired by them and such. But I try my best. I try and work with the resources I've got. But, you know, I put in as much effort as I can because I want to make, you know, I, I, want, I want to make, try and make something out of this. So. <laughs> exactly. You mentioned that word got, and that's important, isn't it? Oh, yes, of course. Race. What's that catchphrase? If, if there's anything, we got this. <laughs> we all got right? this. No one's got this more. <laughs> that's true, but yeah. No, that's it. It's kind of like um, to introduce that um, a catchphrase between me and yourself, like kind of yeah. that we'll always kind of have this situation in a game. It's under control. We have this. Yeah, we got this, and then it and turns really out. Turns out we fucking never had this. <laughs> we don't got anything. <laughs> no, nah, never. Well. We, we might one day. We might win a game. I think you never know. That, that's why, like, I've been recording a lot of Killing Floor lately and Killing Floor Two. Sorry, and fucking, I just don't got this. I say yeah. I got this. <laughs> in fact, in one of my latest ones, I I I actually say to you in the video of Zodiac, we got this, yeah. and we got to the boss, and it was game over. Like, <laughs> some chainsaw fucker ripped me apart. <laughs> I feel like it has to be used in a sarcastic manner now. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> why? Why else not? Like. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> since we've talked somewhat about me, let's talk about you. Oh, this is a first. Squiggles never normally asks about me. Uh, <laughs> Joke. <laughs> but go on. What you asked the question? Uh, obviously, uh, let's. We talked about my sort of content. Let's talk about yours. Okay. So, what sort of content do you like to produce? Well, like my channel split between the two main things that YouTube's known for: game and videos and music. So I try my best to, and I say best in in a, in a very lenient word, deliver. Um, mostly gaming videos on a daily basis and once a week I'll try to do a musical cover of a, of any music cover be it on guitar or piano <laughs> but the problem lately has been um, I, for three weeks I haven't done a music cover because I've been trying to use this new software within Audacity I've installed to make my voice sound better because quite frankly I, I don't like my singing voice and the way I'm working with it now, I might accept it. <laughs> but if 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 things I disagree, nah, you think it's I disagree, okay? and I think many of us in the community would disagree as well. I think you you've got a good voice. Obviously, you're trying to improve upon it, which everyone is trying to improve upon something. But no, I think you're doing a pretty excellent job so far. 
No, thanks very much. I think it's like people are afraid to upload their singing voice because, you know, you're afraid of getting them dislikes and you're afraid of, you know, you're afraid of that negativity, which can be gotten, you know, like it's sure enough, if you're going to sound shit, people are going to tell you. <laughs> but um, uh, I wouldn't say I have the worst one and I certainly don't. I've oh, definitely not. Definitely improved upon points, but it's still not to the point where I want it to be because, you know, if you seek perfection, you're going to have negativity in your head. But um, no, if, if things go to shit, I'll just upload a, a music cover this week or next, you know, because I told people I'd start uploading music covers er, at least once a week. Uh, I just pushed it back because I felt like, you know, if you look in my videos in my channel, you'll just see like a load of similar looking thumbnails of piano covers and it, it just looked messy. I'd like doing it once a month more so because you can kind of, it's more clear. Yeah. But if I get more on hand on the video side, of, gaming video side of things, I love doing that a lot as well. Like, like that'd be the main thing I'll do. But I'll do the occasional music thing when I love it. Like too, yeah. I, I love uploading the likes of GTA videos, yeah. um, because they're like probably the most watched things now at the minute on my channel. Because uh, Fusa, love you Fusa, <laughs> um, and Mortez the guy, DG Gaming, uh, Snaf sometimes and. All them lads, they, they all like record that with me, and that's our thing now. We just kind of race each other and try to become first place each time we do them. And yeah, I've done definitely. like done like what seven videos on them or something plus, maybe more. Um, yeah. I love their yes. videos. I do it in a cool way, you know. Like I'll do, oh, yeah. like I'll do it a music track, and then I'll have it cut out at a funny point in the video, like where it crashes into a wall. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Kam Kam Kamikaze Kids DTA videos definitely worth the watch. Really funny, and far more frequent than my uploads. So I definitely do recommend you check them out. <laughs> oh, thanks very much. No, far but, um, more. <laughs> well, like I'm starting to take a shift on that. Like I wanted to upload every day, but you know, I'm we, sure you can. The real world pushes real us world, down. Go you know, on, as go you know, go down, go down the real world. Yeah. But uh, also one last quick thing, I'll I'll upload anything like videos wise that's not specifically just gta i'll upload that and add you once they just have to comment and let me know what they want to see mm -hmm. but like also mainly you'll see scary games on my channel because yeah. people like seeing jump scares but yeah like that's pretty much my channel like <laughs> in, in a yeah. nutshell of a thousand five words so now that you've heard about our channels more let's talk about the community um yeah. ace plays i love ace plays. talk about him a little yeah his channel is great mm. He does COD. He recently did an Elder Scrolls <laughs> Online video. He gives tips and such. Really good montages, Minecraft series. Really great channel. I think what's handy as well is he does what he wants, you know. The man yeah. does what he wants. And he does it like a sex god. He's a sex god. <laughs> he literally, like, kind of... How do you explain it? Like, not only does he upload what he wants, he co he comments to people so much. And he like he's so active in the community. I think yeah. that's what like kind of like even if his even if he had the worst videos in the world, you'd still watch them because because he's so friendly. Like, he's like a very likable guy. Yeah, yeah, he's so likable, and his voice is likable. It's like yeah, he's got an awesome voice. I think his real name's Mikey or something like that. Yeah, likable oh, name. Very good <laughs> really nice thumbnails as well. Oh, absolutely. I think like he like I I don't know where he's gonna take his channel to though. You know, like kind of because I know he's having that internet problem. Yeah, but he he said he'd be back soon, like, and it'd be nice to see like, like more of the same stuff he's done, like or stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to his Minecraft series return because I was actually quite the fan of that. Yeah, like I think so. I mainly watch him for Minecraft because yeah. like it's just easy easy listening. It's easy watching, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just nice to relax and watching Minecraft, which is important to point out because um, and I find this on YouTube the most videos you'll find is Minecraft videos, correct? Yeah, and how do you feel about the fact that I don't know, five year olds and very young people uploading Minecraft videos continuously? Like, I mean, it's you know to each their own, but um, <laughs> this this spins off to something we were talking about earlier, which is collaborations. But we were talking about this personally earlier, saying how age in YouTube doesn't really matter to a degree. Like, Daryl here, is, he's older than me, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, there's no age limit. But I feel like when it comes to... One thing that changes everything is your voice. <laughs> because yeah. if you have a really high-pitched voice, there's just something about it. I don't know what it is, but say if you're collabing with someone with a deep voice, 
It's like immediately the age difference. It matters. I don't know why. I just feel like it does. Because I yeah. feel like then, like someone could be saying, "Oh, you're playing with a five year old." When it could, could be an all, it could be like a fifteen year old with a high pitched voice. Yeah. But, you know, people are still going to dislike it for the fact that it, you've got a high pitched voice, which shouldn't happen, but it does. So. <laughs> I think if anything, the problem there is people like to like you know prejudge things based on the first <laughs> ten seconds of hearing. You know. Yeah. So people nowadays on YouTube, you know, the audience is kids. But kids look up to adults or people older than them and want to see them type of people playing games. So it's actually really hard for kids to kind of break into YouTube. But it's not to say they could, they're young, they can do it, they can spend years trying. And, you know, when they're at a proper age, they'll, you know, could have a big channel. Some very young people, like 19 years of age, like the WD2 or whatever his name is, has like a lot of subscribers. And yeah, being it's insane. It's like YouTube's for anyone, but the problem is it's just like just knowing your audience, I think. If yeah. you know who watches you, please them people. If it's a small amount of people and you're looking for new people, get people you think might like your content, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like the, the, the sooner you start, the better, no matter which way you look at it. Even if you're, I don't know, even if you're like 10 years old, you start now, you know... <laughs> 10 years time when you're 20 you'll still have a following no matter what you know <laughs> indeed like I think it gets to that stage you just kind of you know do it for enough years and it's good to start young because there's less worries in life you know when you get older you need a job and uh, girlfriends and whatever just boyfriends yeah. <laughs> I don't judge people's sexuality it's be important <laughs> to find out but uh, let's see what else we got to talk about though like kind of we do have more people to talk about but um um we could talk about Hot Pepper Plays. He's been quite active in the community. <laughs> Actually, I feel bad because, th- ironically, there's so many people in the community. I think there's about, like, 500, 600 people now. Yeah, it's crazy. We're not going to get to talk about to talk, everyone yeah. here. Yeah, and some of us don't even know everyone. Now, I am aware of Hot Pepper Plays, but you might need to refresh me of what his channel's about because I know so, you know. So you He might just have... uploads. He uploads, like, sort of unique horror games. It's, you know, horror games. He, <laughs> he uploads a lot of, like, Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> What is he doing? I cringe too because <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that game, but yeah. Oh. They're funny to watch, nevertheless, like Swamp Shrek Simulator. If it works, it works, you know? I mean, he, they're the most watched really, things. like. But he's really active in the community. He's active in my channel, which I'm very grateful for. So shout out to him. Check out his channel, some really cool stuff. I'll definitely give him a check out because, it, like, I think I have before, but as I said, there's just some people you'll just hard to like, kind of. Yeah, out, you definitely. Know? It's going to be so big yeah, now. Yeah. Actually, that's interesting because it's it's easy to point out people's channels when you have they have a good image logo or if they have a good name. Is there any other channels that <coughs> like not personally just because you like them, but names or logos from the community that stick out? You know, stick out. Yeah, like you know, like people's uh, channels that kind of stick out just just from their logo. Or their sort icon, of in, or their name. Unique in a way, I guess. Yeah, that kind of just like, you're like, okay, yeah. I, I know these because I clicked on it because I thought it sounded interesting. I guess, I guess I would say a channel that really stands out, Tori Dories, is yeah. one that stands out amongst the crowd. You know, she does animations. She does really interesting Fury videos and facts. So I feel like yeah. her channel is definitely one that sticks out. Yeah. It's funny because... This, I don't know if this sounds weird or not. I found her channel reminded me kind of slightly from the name, right? When I originally saw her content. Doherty Explorer? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Do you kind of get that? Point? Like, that's not a bad thing. That's good. Like, it's very sort it's, of can kind of relate. vibe. Yeah. So it's like she's the his, English historian explorer of... <laughs> I tried to do English accent. Um, she's the explorer of games. You know, she'll find the archives of all these games and release them to us and give them in a very yeah. f- educational way so it's going to be cool that's, that's what I find anyway so I like that yeah she's got a really good channel check her out if you, if you like those five nights at Freddy's animations and such she does those incredible I don't know how she does those but check them out and check out her, her Let's Play videos I mean I, I know she's been a bit sceptical about her Let's Plays of recent but they are really good so check them out oh they're amazing yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, people, that's the thing. People in our channel will all, or in the community will always kind of feel smaller than some other people. And some people might feel like quitting sometimes. But I think it's important to point out that we're in this together. And if one of us makes it, we all make it. Cause, yeah, definitely. Because would you and me agree that we'll stick in that community once we're big? 
Oh yeah. Stick around kind of. See, I feel like as we get bigger, so we'll project Penguin. So it'll just yeah. grow with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, like, did you ever stop to wonder, we're part of a community of penguins? Like, where did that come about? Like, I know we're not. I, I really, it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get consultants into these podcasts one of the days. Yeah, just definitely. For a proper kind them. of understanding of what, what even Community One was. Because this is so many questions from the freaking, just from the mystery of Google Plus and you know, it's them introducing us. Like, because yeah. they didn't know Google Plus before I knew them. And such an amazing way of getting people to watch your content. <laughs> They're making so many friends from it, you know? Yeah. Isn't it? Definitely. It's, it's, it's amazing. The community is a brilliant place, especially for new YouTubers. You'll meet some really awesome people here. It's, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad I got invited. Um, another person we could talk, we could actually talk about conscious since we're on that topic. Yeah, actually, we may as well. We should have started with that, actually. Yeah, yeah. we should probably should so have, yeah. Conscious, consocious, concetious. I still don't know how to pronounce the name properly. Con gaming. Yeah, it's, I'll just yeah. call it whatever. But CGA, whatever. Yeah. Probably, do you know there's three lads in that community? Yeah. So one looks after everything, and the other two just join. <laughs> no, they're, they're, <laughs> they're just the, there, three, like, the, the three of them are good lads. Like the side you know, guys, no. <laughs> um, they're pretty cool. They make some. There, you know what can you say about these guys? They make uh, one word: GTA. Just really great GTA Five. Funny moments videos. It's really <laughs> the edits they do are awesome. You know the 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 sound effects are great, and just really enjoyable videos. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I think what's cool is like they've actually they're a good reaching point for our um, not a reaching point. Sorry, what am I saying? <laughs> I sometimes say things with bad clarity, and I did try to correct myself. Don't worry, the, you, you know, <laughs> so yeah, to, but yeah. for this podcast, um, they have really great. Um, con- not only do they have really great content, but they're kind of like someone we could look up to at a small level because they have one k subs, and like that's kind of like what we want to get to first, isn't it? They're kind of like a turning point to kind of where it starts snowballing. Yeah, I've always just, that's sort of my dream is to reach the tipping point where I can just sort of snowball subs. Not not that I want to become massive or anything, but I want to get to the point where people are just seeing my content without me having to like reach out so far. You know, I want people to see the content I make. And it's more about, yeah, I just want people to see my videos. I want people to see what they think. It's not necessarily about the money or the fame. If it comes, it comes. But as of now, you know, I don't monetize or anything like that. I, I can't, to be honest, but I put so much music in my videos. But I'm, yeah. I'm doing my best and hopefully I can't get noticed. <laughs> and that's what brought up the topic of the classical monetization versus the Zodiac franchise. <laughs> but explain that to us. Like, when you, if you got big or if you continuously gain subs, how do you feel you will be able to overcome the hurdle of making money from it? Like, because obviously you'd like to do it as a living because, you know, to be able to upload every day or upload on a regular basis requires it being your full time job. Like, let's face it. So, you know, having making money from it isn't a bad thing if it's your full-time job. Oh, definitely. If it's if that's possible, there's nothing so, I would love more. So how how would you able to record your content would, and get away with the monetization factor? I would obviously have to change things up. I'd have to deal with my copyright, but I would try my best to sh- stay away from that and still make my videos just, uh, with the same quality if I could. But obviously I'll have to use specific songs and not add in all the yeah. copyright content I have so previously. You'd be like willing to make that sacrifice if it became yeah. necessary. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if it becomes necessary, like I said uh, to Kamikaze previously, that if I was able to just scrape by on YouTube, you know, just burly, I would still do it. Like I'm going into games design and see if YouTube became an option, I would scrap that. <laughs> like that's how much I want to do YouTube. <laughs> That'd be so cool like, if we could do this. You keep looking awesome. at it as future plans. Like, so future plans, be big on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Is there any you other know, future plans though? Like with that link for you? YouTube is just, it's its my goal. It's a far off dream. But as far as that's, that's the only real big one I have, that's what I want. I mean, if not, that doesn't pan out. And I'll see, I might become a games designer, who knows? That's yeah. probably what I would go for, but I really want. I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna try my very hardest to make YouTube work. Oh, absolutely! I think like it. It's a thing though. Like you know, we could do this our whole life because it's one of them things we can safely do in our background. Because isn't it consistently recording games? Like it's actually easier than just playing them in some ways because it motivates you to want to play games. You know, yeah. like you know, you get home from work or you get home from college or you get home from being outside because you were forced outside by bad parents Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. and then you're just like you get in you want to play video games 
Yeah. If you're going to be playing video games, you might as well record it and try to make money or try earn some fans and break into a, a market that's very popular. I mean, it's a cool hobby to have. Definitely. And so many people want to do it, but it looks like there's room for enough. If I you, mean, if you're really like. there's no denying it's tough to stand out in such a large market. But I feel like if you have enough dedication, you put in enough effort, you're going to stick out eventually. I'd say absolutely. Like, I'd say we might just get there. But a bit personally, fingers crossed. <laughs> I think your content definitely. I mean, you upload some really great content. I feel like no matter what, if you keep trying, you're going to you're going to excel. I'd say I'd say it's the same for yourself, man. Um, but ironically, I'd say it's more so for you because you've already outshined me with the 188 subs. Um, I feel like as has Tori Dory and has. I feel like I've just got lucky with that. To be honest, I don't know why, but one of my my videos spiked in views. The police so that was that was sort of a, yeah that was sort of a lucky payoff for me, but. I feel like other, if that was not true, I feel like Kamikaze Kid would still be somewhat greatly ahead of me. But <laughs> uh, Well, it'd be nice to know we make it at the same time. But that yeah, never happens, you know. Like, fair enough, there's big guys out there. Like, if you could look at the likes of Jack Septic Guy outshining Yami Mash, for example. You yeah. know, he used to have, like, nothing. And then he has more than Yami Mash. Yami Mash only recently earned a million or whatever. It's crazy. You know, are some people, you know, like, who's not to say one day we'd outshine somebody or, you know, older people who have been doing it for ages outshine the younger or you know it's always going to be that once you're relevant you can't go wrong because so many people can do it but if you can just do it your own way it's a you know you'll find the right people that want to sub yeah. right people want to approach it like that's that's fair enough to to the point i think the most important thing when it comes to youtube is just not giving up just keep plowing forward no matter what you know you'll come to like your standstills like currently I'm at 188 subscribers. I've been like that for a day or so. You know, I eventually feel like when I upload a video, I upload a video and then I just, it stops, the subs stop coming. So I have to upload again. But that in a way gives me motivation. And eventually I hope they reach that tipping point. And when I do, you know, I'll be thankful. Uh, I'll be thankful when I get to 200 because it's like my next goal. So I was just like, keep doing 100, keep motivating myself. But also I want to keep answering comments and yeah. Um, continuously editing everything which is funny like I've noticed as well that a lot of people's outros or intros or whatever you know the way they like are you a fan of annotation at all do you do that or do you annotations bother? yeah um, I would obviously have in my outro but that's about it and like does every single one of your videos are they all annotated yeah I mean it's just for the outro um, yeah. like I add in a section for feature channels which I try and assist the community best I can you know even if it helps out a little that makes me happy so I oh. feature a few channels on there. So I remember you started doing that. And actually, I was like, I better start doing that because my outro with the play and has like two spare buttons I could technically throw on a few channels. Yeah. And uh -huh. uh, see how it goes, I guess. <laughs> Just keep keep at it, like. But that's cool, like um. But like, how do you find okay, YouTube's what you want to do, okay? And we try to do this as much as we can, but life gets in the way of it because we live in the real world. How is life outside of YouTube for Zodiac? Well, um, there was that issue. I've got some hospitalization issues recently. Oh. Some problems with my spine. It's about the only thing getting in the way right now ah. because I'm, I'm a, I've am i got summer holiday basically. So, But it's not a big deal and I can definitely still upload. So yeah. I, I have spare free time. It's really just about getting the ideas. No, absolutely. It's kind of like just being ready for the next thing. Obviously that got in the way recently and... I do like wish you the best with that. Like um, oh yeah. And then that's up to yourself if you wanted to just go start or skip it. You know? I really don't care. Uh, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Um, so just just a hospital visit, not big. Just little. Yeah. You know. uh, I don't yet. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I suppose, like if 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 it becomes an issue where people need to know, you can always comment. Uh, comment this thing in, in the future. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah, if anyone, like, <laughs> I would feel like if it's anyone, I feel more comfortable sharing it with, if it's the community. Yeah. I don't know why, but I feel, like, more close to the community than most people. You know, you I know, feel like I can share funny. things freely. It's funny because the community is made up of people we know from um, doing YouTube. It's also made up of people we don't know and a lot of people we don't know. And it's funny that we're comfortable with the emergence of people we know and don't know. See, I think That's you understand... Funny, to some degree, they all have the same goals. Exactly. They all have probably the same set of uh, ideas and such they want to achieve. So you can kind of you just relate with them, I guess. It's like, say, Absolutely. I don't know, it's like, it's like you know, when you, you go into college or whatever, you know, become a part of a class. 
you know they all have similar interests to you because they're doing the same course. Yeah. So it's kind of like that in a way, I guess. Mo- I feel really comfortable. Plus, <laughs> minus just, the bullion. Yeah, I basically live online, so. <laughs> ah, same. It's it's very easy to make friends online. You just kind of just, yeah. hey, what's your name? Oh yeah, my name's this. <laughs> Only we have all different names online. That's the, the oh, yeah. primary difference. <laughs> I, I, I think I think it's funny that um, we have these nicknames, and it's yeah. like nobody probably knows our real names. Like type of thing. I, like, I personally like the nickname Zoders. <laughs> Zoders. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think um, Croizon nicknamed me Kami before. I was like, that's cool. Yeah. I've called you KK before, even though you don't know it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even fucking know. <laughs> I just know this regular like KK. Oh, Kami. Uh, yeah. Kamikaze KK. That's KK. KK. There's a new catchphrase. That's KK. KK. We got this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got this. KK. The ultimate catchphrase. Yes. <laughs> um, ooh. Uh, this is a double. Me- this is a double topic. Okay. Devco and t-shirts. Oh yeah. And because we want to make t-shirts, we got this. KK. Um, and Devco. Uh, what do you think about? Can we just talk Dev- about how incredible his artwork is? I mean, for those t-shirts, my God. I think he is an insanely gifted he's a, artist. He's a cheater. I'm joking. He's, he's fucking... It's amazing. He's, he's insane. <laughs> like, in a good it's way. It's amazing. Yeah, definitely. It's such good... Amazing talent, you know. Um, he could do a channel. Like, he could do part of his channel just dedicated to art. Yeah, like, well, like, I said to him before, now, he, I think he deleted these videos. I was like, people love seeing <laughs> art being made. Like, if you look at Evan Card's videos, the guy who designs for Syndicate, etc., he just makes a video with and rushes through it like you know he'll render it where it's sped up yeah and you can just see the art being made before your eyes and you just want to watch it like you're just like how did he do that and i'd love to see some of them on 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 devco's channel or even if he if he thinks that's too much like you could always make it a side channel where he does it now and again you know that way it doesn't interfere with his gameplays because i know he loves his gameplays and they're they're pretty good too like he does a lot of that space and his thumbnails are just second to none and i don't know if this video can be anything but kind of a uh business deal for him or not but like you know in the near future if i ever got to the stage where i could make money from youtube i'd love to like you know pay him to do my thumbnails or, or whatever like you know if that yeah, if that helped him make his living or, i'm sure you'd agree and i'm sure definitely people, yeah, yeah like literally he just blows thumbnails out of war it's insane yeah it's crazy because like i would safely say Dabco is better than a lot of professionals out there on YouTube, you know, your professional artists, he could easily take the place of one of those, and it's, it's, it, 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 it surprises me he doesn't have more subscribers because it's insane. I, I think it's because, you know, sometimes it's just about being able to make yourself searchable. I mean, the name Devco is D Tree V C underscore O or whatever, and that's hard to find. You know, if you type it in, you'll never find it. Which yeah. is, you know, but that's not a bad thing. And, you know, obviously people will, like, with you time, find this channel because they're not dedicated to want to find this amazing artist. But it, it, it always help making sure that your channel is searchable to even younger viewers because that's who's watching. So you need something simple, simplistic, like, name that can be searched, you know, like. Very true, yeah. Like, just simple, like, um, Baba or fucking Baba. Gaga or I don't know <laughs> something Lady simple Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga something simple okay. that they can type they can type in within three or four letters because yeah. that's you know it hard, p- kids don't know how to do underscore like that's shift and <laughs> yeah so it's like, but like like I said like it's, it's, it's not about it's sub level or you know people will be found when, when they're found and Devco it's is one time. of them yeah Devco is one of them good people who you know Obviously, that name has to be accepted now, and it'll only grow from here. You know, thirty-two subs he had, I think, last time I checked. I can't remember, but it's get, he's going to only got to grow. Like he'll reach a hundred before he knows it from all his art. Yeah. Especially yeah. his name is going to get out there when people start um, looking for him to do their intros and outros because he does that. He'll design your intro, outro, your thumbnail, your logos, anything. You just ask him. Obviously, like you, like you'd want to pay him for it. You can work out a deal with him. Just private message him. He won't talent. bite. Yeah. Do you know, talent. pure talent. But uh, yeah, great YouTuber. Definitely check him out. Onwards from him because I think we spend a lot of time with Devco. Yeah, definitely, he's awesome. <laughs> oh, absolutely. But um, well, this does link into the topic we were talking about t-shirt deals. Like, oh, yeah, I, okay. I was actually asking you in that, like, would you ever get do the t-shirt deal, the spreadshirt? Definitely. Like, I feel like I would. 
unlike the outcrew because I'm not the actual <laughs> artist. Yeah. I feel like I'd require to be a little bit popular like before that. But I would definitely have, you know, T-shirts with We Got This on it. Yeah. And just, I don't know, us, we could be on it, you know, a T-shirt. Cool. It would be awesome, yeah. Hacking zombies. Oh, yes. That'd Even though, awesome. but we're missing. We're hitting each other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we we're got this. Cracking each other's kneecaps. <laughs> yeah, but that would be, that would be great. I would love, I'd, I'd still wear my own T-shirt daily. <laughs> Actually, um, while this is half podcast, half me asking questions, obviously, that's a podcast. Um in the near future, your plans for kind of even collabing with people, was there kind of collab plans you had in mind or even just video plans of general videos you wanted to do? Yeah, I've invited quite a lot of people to collaborations, which has got me in a bit of a predicament, I'm not going to lie, because it's kind of hard to keep it on, keep them all balanced. I, I, know I, feel like. I will get right to that, I promise. I, I will hopefully soon I'll start dealing with all these collabs. It's just I'm, you know, a bit of had to deal with some situations of recent, but and obviously my own videos, but I will focus on that. That'd be cool, yeah. So, because as I was saying, you're more than welcome to do GTA with me and Fuza if you want to oh, do yeah, custom races, yeah, yeah. or if you want to do. We we recently made a, a what do you call it a group. You know the way you can make clans. Mm. We we made one called the Bake Cell Boys. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I'm joining that. <laughs> you, you, you have to enjoy. You have to join that. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> There's so many. Different... Everyone needs to join that. <laughs> we were going through the ranks one to ten, and I think like. I can't remember them, but there was like Girl, Girl Scout was one of the ranks, <laughs> and like a, a, a baker. Wow. You know, you bake the co- the cookies and fill yeah. fill them with the weed or the guns. I mean, it's so cool walking down the road in GTA holding the cookie, and next of all, a, a fight breaks out, and you break open the cookie, and out comes an AK. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for them mods. Yeah, I mean, you know uh, yeah, they broke the script hook for GTA Five. Ah, yeah. Is that was the but, mods? That's why I can't do any videos in that currently. Do you explain? Like, they broke the script. What does that mean? They. It's like the script hook is the thing that actually allows the mods to work. Oh. But because of the recent patch, it broke the script hook. So you don't have anything to actually run the mods. Oh, see. But hopefully that'll come back into play soon. Yeah, I think they're trying to get rid of it for the money element because they're making money yeah. when people buy the, the, the credit. Yeah, but people can just generate money, and that's kind of bad. Like if they God, can... no, so I don't do that personally, but no, yeah, I think that's like one of the reasons. Like the the, the frown mods is when it, yeah. it it provides the player with something that they were meant to buy. <laughs> I think yeah. it's not really a game where you rank like kind of above people. It's not like Call of Duty where you know you're best in the world. It's it's a game of like you're in a server with people and you want to have fun. It's like payday or it's like you know, games where you feel it's okay to hack like or okay to mod or. I mean, it's been designed like that for a reason. They they accept it offline. They should be they should accept it to a certain degree online too. I think. Yeah, I mean, I use I only play single player mods and do videos in those. I do funny moments videos in those. So it's kind of annoying that that happened to me personally because that's my sort of go to video. But uh, hopefully they'll get that fixed in time. So. No, I'd say they they'll get to it like just a matter of time. You know yourself. Well, it's yeah hopefully it gets, it gets fixed like okay. yeah. All right, this would probably be a good time to mention E3 oh yeah definitely oh god Fallout 4 <laughs> can't, can't wait so uh, excited was it November the 10th is it November the 10th yes uh, so did you want to discuss that at all like what from that trailer kind of struck you I mean we shouldn't go into too much detail but just the because we don't want to make this all about Fallout 4 but I mean just oh, the no. amount of freedom you have in that game just blows me away Oh, uh, absolutely! Like, like so much freedom, so much you do what you want with your character. It's it's amazing. <laughs> it's funny the way you got rid of that green mist and the orangey mist that was in New Vegas and the uh, tree. You know. You see, here's the thing: people were complaining about that, but I think it's great because like it's different environments. So say yeah. you saw from the trail of the, the snippet with the deaf claw, that was that was bleak looking, yeah. like the old Fallout. <laughs> but obviously, the there's places are going to look different. Not everywhere is going to look bleak. <laughs> Exactly. Like if you think about it, I think it takes place ten years after yeah. uh, Project Purity like happens in Follow Tree, not the real storylines or anything. But, um, just like the idea of an improved world, you know, a world where the radiation maybe hasn't travelled there as much, or or it has been purified to a certain degree, and therefore the mist is gone. It be loose, guys. You know, things are still radiated, but not as bad. It's like it's not like Chernobyl or anything. Like it's just yeah. small levels, but like. 
I think it looks beautiful for the fact that they're it using does. the Skyrim it looks engine. Incredible. Like, I don't know why people are complaining about the graphics. I think it's because they've seen the gameplay and they they. I don't know. Some people are just always complaining, like like things like the player's character model is improved, but they're like it could like you know they're looking at the Witcher and they're like okay how come it isn't that good and it's like well, well you I think. <laughs> We have to remember how big this game's going to be. Oh, it's immense! I think the map's going to be doubled. massive. That's oh, going to be amazing. Like, I think, I like, yeah, I'm mostly looking forward to the storyline with the androids because, yeah, I'm just like, there's a bit of speculation that, um, the the player is an android. Oh, that would be cool. It would be cool, but like, cool people are are um, <laughs> afraid of that theory because they're like, okay, you survived a nuclear explosion and you managed to live two hundred years under a vault. And you still look the same. Android alert. That's a good theory, yeah. <laughs> it is like in fairness, it's like it's it's a likely one indeed, actually. Yeah, I don't know. We probably should linger in the Fallout Four topic for too long, because we could talk about it forever. I but I tell you what, we'll we'll come back to this Fallout Four topic in another video. We'll do it like a side do podcast pop, yeah. called the Fallout Four Foils. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we can um, continue with the YouTubers we were talking about. Um, yeah, actually, go back to um. See, actually. It seems we're talking about Fallout. I might mention Broken Horn. Oh yeah, because like I just as a Fallout fan, like I think like he's amazing. Like he looked. I think he's the only person on YouTube that was uploading Fallout one and two videos. And I'm talking about YouTube as a whole. Like if you typed in one and two, you probably just find him. Like <laughs> yeah, it's it's great. He does some really good Let's Play videos. He's a really relaxing voice. Yeah, it's really. I don't know where he's from yeah. now, but like amazing voice. I like his voice. Yeah, <laughs> real, real soothing. Could fall asleep to that voice in a good yeah. way, in a good way. But I, I, he, he mastered in English, I think, or literature, something like okay. that. So he's like, so he talks real, like proper real. We probably make elegant. him cringe. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he'll ex- he'll yeah, he'll accept. He'll probably accept. It, he'll, yeah. he'll be modest, I'd say. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's a great YouTuber. Definitely check him out. He does some really great videos. Um, definitely, if you're into Let's Plays, then definitely. I'd say he, if you're a Fallout yeah. fan. I'd say me, you and him will definitely be doing Follow 4 when it comes out. I'd say in oh, terms I can't of wait, future yeah. content. Like, anyways. He'll probably do a Let's Play. I'll probably do funny moments. So yeah. <laughs> it's more of you into informative or you into funny things. <laughs> no, this is it. Like, yeah, it's absolutely always the same thing. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think. The only topic I really had left to kind of discuss on today's thing was um, the whole idea of Sub for Soap. And I know it's a like a bit of a downer topic to end on, but you're like, may as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's sob for sobbing is. I mean, I try like when people do sob for sob, I I generally do sob them back simply because it's a sob. It's it's helping me grow to some degree, and even though I know they're not going to be active, the thing is with sob for sobbers is they their only strength is sob for sobbing. They're yeah. not getting anywhere by uploading videos or doing anything else really for the most part like i'm not saying this goes for all of them some of them can be cool guys they're just trying to sort of make sort of you know get by but um i don't sub for sub i, I never have you see the thing about sub for sub i just feel like if i was to start doing that i feel like i would just i probably i don't feel like i like i'm getting making any progress because like all, I'm, all i'm uh getting is fake fans basically I mean, I still, I go through it, yeah, I just, I try and be modest about it, I try and be as, you know, I just do it, you know, I try and just get it out of the way, to be honest. Some of them turn out to be pretty cool guys, so, you know, it's always good to give them a chance, I guess, but, yeah, <laughs> Raw Stripe doesn't like Sub for Subbers, he really does, he did a song about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember you showed me, that was actually a cool video. It was, yeah. I might link that in the in the, in the description, awesome. like, Check after it. I put up, like, that'd be cool. Yeah. Actually, we should mention, yeah, I might have to go through this video later and 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 find everybody we mentioned and put them into the description oh yeah because if, if you like oh. mentioned don't feel bad about that you I know, know we only have limited time I, so I, we will mention yeah. all the people in the future I'll, I'll link the community in the description below anyway so is if anyone's new to, to youtube do do join the community it's free um it's an excellent community to join because we're always active in it so I, I don't know many other communities that are like that and i've tried a few but you're well you're always welcome to join it's free upload of it one video a day um find new people to comment to and to subscribe to they'll do the same to you so it works you make friends that's right i think that's that's the problem it's like you know you'll instantly see someone as a subscriber but you should see them as friends because you know each subscriber should be a friend like it's just like a big you're like that cool kid at school with like four million friends it's like fucking <laughs> walking around like fucking 
Rocky Balboa, like like you won the title or something. YouTubers are awesome. Uh, absolutely. YouTubers are some of the coolest people. Actually, like not, not, not to brag about myself or anything. I'm talking about all the YouTubers here. <laughs> no, like, I think it's cool because we'll always see each other in a better light. Like, I'm like, oh, Zodiac, like, oh, I was fucking did a podcast last night with Zodiac's Deadly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it's um, a cool. Like, I was a kind of kamikaze kid. <laughs> It's like it's it's not Daryl here. It's Kamikaze, Kamikaze kid. kid. Yeah, you know, Daryl's awesome, but <laughs> KK. <laughs> it's KK. So it's, it's only like and and your real name was Chris McQuaid, was it? Yep. Yeah. That's uh, so it's funny because my middle name's Christopher. Yeah. I know. <laughs> oh. But oh yeah, one channel I feel like we should definitely make mention of is Chaucy. Oh yeah, Chaucy. That guy's so cool. Yeah. Resident Evil Four videos. He does some awesome that that there, that there recent yeah. montage. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Spanish guy, <laughs> he's insane. Like, oh, that's brilliant. But I, I love the way he can just say "cunt" so casually to his fans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like "cunt." <laughs> he's great. Yeah, definitely check him out. Brilliant. He's he, he, you can see him, the amount of effort that goes in his videos. No, it's actually we covered good good ground today for a fifty-two minute video. Yeah, fifty-two <laughs> plus almost an hour. But I hope I didn't that, do. I hope I didn't do too poorly. I hope I. Like everyone would be in the comments, we're squiggles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm angry. Just, just that'll just be squiggles saying that. Yeah. No, it's good to have new people on. We'll try next episode. I do this. We'll try get someone else on. You're welcome back to it. We'll try get like and socials on if they're if they're willing we, to join in. Even the Gunner, lab. I know Gunner takes Gunner, part. So. Gunner took part. Yeah, uh, we'll try get him back on. on. A few other people. If if people want to be a part of this, actually, uh, the podcast, do comment. Just let us know. You know. That's what YouTube's about. It's about making friends, like I said. Um, Everyone's welcome. Uh, down for sub for sub, up for friends. But um, anyways, guys, thanks very much for watching this podcast. Um, this will be the first official podcast I uploaded to my channel as of date, the Cockpit Podcast. Forgot what I said at the intro. But thanks very much for watching. So, hey if, so if you like, subscribe. Join the Kamikaze and Zodiac Tribe. And we'll see you guys hey at guys. the next one. <laughs>